Today we're going to be talking about interior design choices that are making your home look dirty. Mostly because these items are really high maintenance and take a lot of work to keep clean. This isn't to shame anybody for liking these design choices. These are just items that I've found take a lot of work to maintain and are maybe something that you might want to reconsider keeping or placing in your home if you don't want to spend a large majority of your time doing this. First up is a common DIY, which is painting your kitchen or bathroom cabinets. Now this isn't to say you should never paint any of your cabinetry as it's a really cheap way to get very dramatic results, but where most people end up botching this DIY is they end up using the wrong type of paint. And when you use the wrong type of paint, you end up with what I like to call sticky cabinets, where literally everything and anything will stick to them. These are my kitchen cabinets, which the previous owners painted, and they have been painted at least for over a year now, and they are still sticky as can be, to the point where even if you wipe them off with a magic eraser, you can still see the cleaning marks. Luckily, this one's an easy fix, and all you have to do is make sure that you buy the correct paint that is specifically for cabinetry. I would also recommend buying or renting a paint sprayer because as you can see, brushes and paint rollers leave texture on your cabinets. And when your cabinets have texture, paper towels and other particles rip and stick to your cabinetry. This also means that if your cabinetry is already painted or already has a wood stain on it, you will first want to use a paint stripper or varnish remover to remove the old paint and stain and you'll want to sand your cabinets. This is so the paint adheres better and so you end up with less texture. And speaking of texture, let's move on to our next trend that's making your house dirty, which is textured walls and ceilings. The reason why textured walls and ceilings are making your house look dirty is because people typically don't patch them correctly. So you end up with walls like this one in my guest room that just look a little beat up and you can see where they did not retexture the wall and just left smooth patches. This is my bathroom wall where you can tell the previous owners removed a towel rack and clearly did not take the time to patch this correctly. This is a part of the ceiling that we had to patch because it was flaking off and we still have to go back and try to match this texture. And if you don't match the texture correctly, you end up with areas like this that it just looks a little off, almost like paint drips, but it's actually where they sprayed the texture and it just dripped down the wall. Oh, and also dust loves to stick to textured walls and ceilings. So not only will you have to dust your knickknacks, you'll also have to take a Swiffer to your walls and your ceiling. Next up is Butcher Block. It's warm, it's beautiful, and cheap. Probably one of the cheapest things you can do to update your kitchen counters. And unfortunately, it stains super easy. Here's where I left a dish on the counter too long before washing it. This is where I scrubbed something too hard and now this part of the countertop is lighter. And this is where my copper utensil holder oxidized on the counter and left a ring. And here's where some red wine or tomato sauce spilled out of the pan and now has stained my countertop red. Needless to say, when we redo the kitchen, I will be getting a more durable countertop and will only place butcher block in areas that don't get a lot of use. The next dirty design choice are these modern square sinks, which look very nice, but unfortunately, nothing likes to go down the drain. Toothpaste, soap, hair, and dirt all love to stick in the corners of these beautiful sinks, and well, it makes them not so pretty anymore, and unless you want your guests splashing up your bathroom, or you just want to spend a lot of time cleaning up your sink, I suggest you find another sink option. And last but not least is the bane of my existence, stainless steel. This is my kitchen sink, which pretty much always looks dirty. And this is my mom's kitchen stove, which gets messy and dirty every single time we use it. And as many of us know, our fridges are prone to fingerprints and smudges, as well as these lovely watermarks which occur if you have one of those ice or drink dispensers. Even my trash can has these lovely drip marks going down it. 
and it's a lot of work to keep it clean. You basically have to wipe it down, then dry it, and then take some stainless steel polish and wipe it out. Once you've done that, you'll have a nice clean sink that's beautiful and shiny. That is, of course, until you turn the water on, which is when the sink reverts back to its old water spot itself. I guess if you really love stainless steel, maybe get the fridge and the microwave, but definitely avoid the sink and the stainless steel cooktop. And if you do get the microwave, don't place it above your stove, because otherwise you'll get these lovely steam stains. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you like this type of content, be sure to check out some of my other videos, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!